Hello, it's just a pre-mobile lord, Biffy7011 here. Like it or not, I'm in charge. Uh, so, last time we did the first turnabout, like a month ago, and now we're doing turnabout sisters. I actually, um, I'm gonna apologize for, you know, not uploading on this channel. Stuff's been consuming my time and I haven't had time to do episode 2. We're not gonna do the full episode, obviously, we're gonna do like, investigation part 1, trial, in the next episode, all of that. So yeah, I'm also not gonna be doing the voices this time, cause... I'm actually a bit sick. Uh, I might be allergic to some things, so... Yeah, I don't really have the energy to be... Doing all these voices when my nose is blocked up, so I'm sorry about that. So I'll just talk to you because you know I'm cool and everyone likes me. Well, most people like me. Uh, so this is Maya, Maya Faye, Mia's little sister, and Phoenix's assistant. Uh, if you haven't played the games, I'm going to just explain it because it's not really a spoiler when we're in the episode. Uh, Mia's going to die because stuff. That's not. That's going to be a spoiler as to why she's dead. Um, and Maya is going to be blamed for the murder. Again, this isn't a spoiler because we will find that out in like five minutes' time. Uh, yeah, so Maya's going to be dead pretty much. Well, that's kind of annoying because I like Maya. Did I say Maya's going to be dead? No. Mia's going to be dead, which is annoying because she's the one with the brains here. And Maya's going to be taken over as Phoenix's assistant. Which is great until you realise this girl is costing me a fortune in burgers and ramen if we're in the anime. And probably also the Japanese version. But, um, yeah. Maya really likes burgers. It's like one of her few character traits. The other character trait is, haha, I can be ghost. I am spirit medium, uh, I'm probably a con man, con woman, but um, yeah, see, 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 so um, yeah, basically, Mia wants Maya to hide some paper of work, which is the evidence, uh, funny enough, it's in the clock from the first turnabout, uh, the last episode, funny enough, it's obviously time, but whatever. So, um, he is going to be the, uh, this is going to be the villain killing Mia, so, uh, yeah, get ready. This is the villain of the entire goddamn episode, Epi yeah, episode, uh, <coughs> Red, white, blue. That's not his name. His name is not red, white, blue. And now our boy Phoenix is is late because he's an idiot and also doesn't have a car and he takes his bike most places. What an idiot. So here's the first part of the uh, actual game where we examine stuff. Obviously nothing's exempt. You can't examine anything here, because, you know, you have to be double check if Maya, me, Ma, me is okay. So let's move into the office. Sob. Uh, and here is Maya grieving over Mia's dead body, which is kind of weird. Like, you're not her sister in, or anything, are you? Oh yeah, she is. She wears weirder. Out she wears a weirder outfit than Mia does. Like let's let's be real here. <coughs> oh, and there's the thinker, murder weapon again. Yeah, um, it's kind of a weird choice to kill Mia off in the second episode, but I guess they just didn't want kids to get too attached to Mia. I know I probably wouldn't want to, you know, get attached to someone who's just gonna die. But she's dead, so yeah. 
I guess it was kind of a good idea, but at the same time, I would have, I, I would have wanted her to have a bit more character development in episode one, but that's not really what, that's not what this whole thing is about. Like, we have a, we have more time to have character development for not Nia. This game's about like Edgeworth and Phoenix and stuff. So yeah, you just want to examine those things and you get evidence from it and stuff. Oh, good. So yeah, and then you want to move back to the office, um, not office, um, main law offices, like the office. Yikes! So yeah, um, examining is probably my least favourite part of this game. I, I like it more, not I like it more, I like, um, uh, I like the trial part myself. It's more fun, to be honest. So basically, yeah, uh, you have to talk and find out what happened. It's just not fun, to be honest. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather just be in a trial. Um, yeah. Although, sometimes it is kind of funny. Like, there are, like, you know, like, little plot lines going on around the, uh, game with, like, certain objects and places. Like, Charlie the Plant. Um, that means sh Charlie the Plant, I don't think, is here. But that poster there, that has a little ongoing storyline. Oh, that's not the same drawing. Painting. Never mind. Uh, that's kind of annoying. But now we've spoken to Maya, we examine the phone. Oh, and there's Charlie the plant. He will start appearing later. Oh, and here's the, uh... The, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, witness. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just go back the other way. Just, you know. Yeah, uh... I forget what you're meant to do now, because I've not played Turnabout Sisters. I've played Turnabout Sisters, like, once, I believe? No, twice. I played Turnabout Sisters twice. Once on the DS, and then once here. Uh, well, obviously, and this will be my third time playing. It's a good case, I guess, but I'd very much rather, like, not play it. I have better stuff to do. Um, another thing, though. Just don't do any, like, effect. Just, you know, get up for us. So, I'm going to give you a few seconds so you can cut that out. Alright, what you want to do now is present, this is another part of the game, uh, present Maya with the receipt that says Maya on it. I don't know why I didn't figure that out myself. Uh, and now Maya's going to be all shocked, because why would someone write her name? I mean, she does that little cry. It's not really crying though, she just puts this like, little dot in her face and just goes and puts a weird face. Yeah. Hold on, Phoenix. Don't take that out of context, anyone, please, for my sake. And here's probably one of the one of the fan favourite characters, Detective Dick Gumshoe. And I'm allowed to say that because that's his name. And he's got a really big smile on his face. That woman.
So yeah, this is how Maya's gonna get framed for the murder. Uh, you know, it's kinda... bad reasoning, to be honest. It's like... You could, mm, it goes from... I'm... It just doesn't make sense. I'm trying to explain it here, but I can't speak. What I'm trying to say is... Like, it never occurred to Gumshoe. Oh yeah, that could be a fake. Just like that. Makes no sense. Anyway, here's the detention centre. Probably one of the other places you'll go to a lot. I do actually feel kind of bad for Maya whenever she gets frames. Uh, you know, it's... It's not really fur, and I did say whenever, because she does get framed for murder quite a lot in this series. It's kind of annoying, but I can live with it. Yeah, as I've said, I'm not voicing the characters, I have better stuff to do with my throat. That sounded bad. Oh, and here's where Mia decides I'm going to insult Phoenix. Uh, not directly, but, you know, I'm just going to insult Phoenix. It's nice. Oh, and now, and now Maya's smiling because she's inflicted a lot of pain onto us, of course. Now we'll find out exactly like what Maya does. She's a spirit channeler, which basically just means ho ha ho ha. I can now make people ghost me. So really weird, but she's creative and pretty. Uh, maybe? Eh, not really. Uh, I mean, I'd rather have it in the game than you know not. But that's about it. Not that exciting. I wonder it, it should. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if we did get to see what this trial was and like what the whole thing was. But again, she died, so it's not like that's ever gonna happen. Um, yeah, so now you have to go get my. Phone. I'm not calling it a cell phone, I'm not American. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Now we just talk to her about spirit medium stuff. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, don't know why if Mia can channel uh, channel spirits, like Maya just said she could, because, you know, she's a thingy. Like, a top class spirit medium, how come, how come no one decided, let's channel Cindy Stone and ask who killed her? I doubt she'd know the name, but she she wouldn't have framed Larry, and then the whole first turnabout never would have happened. Then again, Frank Sorrow probably never would have got arrested, so that's fun. And we never would have got to her, hear the uh, classic corner theme until this episode. This episode just dragged on, man. Like, that's one of my issues with the uh, Ace Attorney games. It's. They just take so long. There's like a trial in later down the line that takes like 12 hours to complete. It's like. I've not got up to that, and I don't want to get up to that. That's going to take forever. But like. It'd be cool though, I, I probably, like, you know. I'm not gonna spoil it, because we're on the first game. Uh, I don't even know if we'll get the Spirit of Justice. I think it's Spirit of Justice? I'm pretty sure it's Spirit of Justice. But, um, it's pretty long, and I haven't got time. Uh, Rise of the Ashes, which is the fifth, fifth episode in this game takes about seven hours uh, but I think that's if you're examining every last little detail 
uh, put into a lore of this now, I believe, because we're, uh, you know, in the, uh, oh, and there's Charlie, and the picture I was actually trying to talk about. Oh, thanks, yeah, I am the butts guy. No, I'm the butts guy. I am the butts guy. Yeah, he was proven innocent. Uh, detective Gumshoe. Huh. <laughs> and don't go call me dick. <laughs> the game is pretty funny. I thought he was in charge. More talking about Mia and Maya. So, time of death, 9.05, uh, 9 p.m., single blow from blunt trauma, force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Basically just means like that. Doesn't that contradict something? Viewing the receipt, I believe? Oh, and Edgeworth, the uh, prosecutor for this case. He's, um, what's the word? Scurry. Very scurry. Mr. Miles Edgeworth. I thought I did. Yeah, he's a pretty weird prosecutor. Yeah, Gumshoe really likes Edgeworth because uh, he's gay? No, he likes women. But he really looks up to Edgeworth. It's probably one of the best relationships in the entire show. Uh, I think we need to examine Charlie now. Oh, whoops. Uh, and here's the poster I was talking about earlier. Uh, that will have an ongoing storyline at some point. And now we want to move to Clifford Lord, is this? No. Bring in full Lord of this. Present. Oh, yeah. Tell him not to show up. Steel Samurai, that's Soto a little thing on the uh, thingy. Alright, well now we've got Maya's cell phone, that's pretty cool. We've seen that we were watching the recorded thingy, so we don't need to watch it, it's fine. Oh, and here's when Gumshoe tells us about the witness that's over in the uh, hotel over there. Should probably go check that out soon. Yep, we shouldn't have detect. We shouldn't expect a detective like him to, you know, leak any information to us. That would be absurd. Of course he isn't. And now we're going to Gateweather Hotel. September 6th, Gateweather Hotel, room 303. Uh, yeah, it's that woman. Yeah, she's... She's a character, I guess. She has, um... Personality, I guess. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, she's uh. She's uh got a, a, a personality. A, 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 yeah. Um. Uh, let's just hurry this up, shall we? Uh, like really hurry this up, like 
really, really, really sucks because I... The personality, man, it's just so... It's just so big and awkward. So, yeah, let's just get away so we don't have to deal with her personality anymore. Um, yeah, basically, what you witness, Miss May, we all know. Like, okay. Um, let's just go here. <coughs> Yay! It's even grander than he imagined. I I like this guy. He's he's pretty funny, but you know he's not like a main character. He's just here. He's just, I. D He's all right, I guess, but um. He's all right. I just, I said he's all right, I guess, but he's all right. No, excuse me, but um. He's just weird, man. I don't have time to torture him. I just want to. Oh, Grumble, did you just say something? Oh, I think not, I said. What do you mean? He's very sorry, by the way. Uh, no one worth the salt. I don't, I don't take salt. I like pepper, so I should be fine. <laughs> Basically, tell us don't take the case. And now I'll tell us a bit about Mia. Uh, she used to work here, actually. Lucky her. Or unlucky her. Yeah, so overarching storylines in this game are uh, pretty cool. There's some overarching storylines in the entire series. I don't know if they carry over to like Apollo Justice, Real Destinies, and Spirit of Justice. I think they're their own little things. Because they're all like, you know, thingy. Uh, I should probably go and tell Maya what happened. I can feel the awkwardness, I, I can feel what Phoenix is thinking right now, if you get what I mean. It's like that feeling like, oh god, she's not going to be happy about this. <laughs> she was all skin and bones. Oh god. And, and now Maya's really sad, and now I'm sad. And now we're all sad because, oh no, now she's smiling. Uh, yeah, I mean, is she sad or not? She's smiling. Uh, her family. She only has a sister. Uh, her father died when she was young. And her mother's run off. Is it meant to be the fathers that run off and the mothers that die? Uh, let's find out a bit more about her mother. Oh, uh, they've been meeting him for generations. <laughs> a lot of. A lot of. <laughs> uh, I'll explain why that's funny later. By later, I mean in a few. How long is this chase gonna take? Probably in a few months. Yeah, that's right, you have to wait for this joke. Just hurry up. No, Maya, please hurry up. I have, I have stuff to do. For God's sake. <laughs> so, who's this man who ruined about 15 years ago the Muslim murder case? Looks like it's the police were running that. Oh, yeah, this is also one of the big plot. Uh, they didn't need spirit being here. Yeah, they did. Uh, case was solved. Oh yeah, 
have to go home. Defend Maya. I can't abandon you, someone else is the culprit, which we know, but Phoenix doesn't, or I don't know why. See, saying I can't abandon you sounds really nice and stuff, but like, that's factually correct, and that one's just funny, so we're gonna go with that one. Well, it's not really funny, but, you know. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, uh, uh let's just keep going. Here's another overarching storyline in this game. And now she's crying again. Please stop. Yeah. Let's fight. You and me. We'll win. <laughs> You're innocent, right? I'm defending you now, but... Just to make sure, you know? It's like he took the case, but, you know. Oh, she's really happy now. That's good. That, yeah, that, that really strange woman. And now we're officially Maya's lawyer, which is good because now we can. Oh, it's the ball boy. Never mind, I'll tell you what I'm telling you in a minute. Um, Bell boy. He has small cameos in each case. You don't see him, it's more of a text cameo. You'll look through the window and go, oh, the bell boy is doing such a such a thing. Pretty weird character, I'll tell you that. Miss May is very close to fair. Oh. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Red, white, blue. Mr. White, blue. See, I didn't notice that when I first, uh, first played this game. I didn't notice that, oh, white as in red, white, blue. She gave us the hint straight away, and I never noticed. I don't think anyone noticed, because, like, why are you going to remember that for wiretap? continued so that means we've just finished the investigation so that means this episode is over so um thank you for watching it was fun uh, it's great to be back um, and I expect to hopefully come back next week and do the first part of the trial the most fun part of any Ace Attorney game even Ace Attorney investigations that don't even have trials so um thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.